but do you think that people will really want to come back generally to their employer? And do you think we should force them back in some way or just let it be the decision of the employee? Because we failed to have a universal testing regime and because we don't have good sentinel and monitoring systems, the core problem we have now is we've trained all of our citizens that they can't be sure if they meet someone on the street that they're not infected, that they won't get it. And because on the order of half of the transmission is asymptomatic, that person, that person who you know or you know vaguely may give you the disease in a way that you don't, that you don't even expect, right? They don't know that they're sick. It's not their fault. It was just happening. Indeed, there's evidence that you're, you're, most, um, you're, you're most contagious right at the beginning of the disease, around day five or six, and there's lots of viral shedding and it declines. So you have to think about how do we deal with the legitimate and illegitimate fear that people are going to have? So my guess is you're gonna see people organize themselves into roughly three buckets. A set of people who can't go to work because their kids are at home and they have to be in charge of the kids and the schools aren't open, that needs to get fixed. Uh, otherwise we have a national tragedy. You have a set of people who have an extremely low tolerance for getting this disease because they're a cancer survivor, they're immunosuppressed or what have you. They really need to stay at home. And then you have people like myself who are just dying to go to the office. That partitioning, will be done in each company in different ways. So for example, if I'm working in a software group, which is sort of what I like to do, um, we will organize that some of us will be in the office, some of us will be at home, some of us will be in a satellite office, but we know each other and we'll work together. So for white collar workers, you're going to see the organization where some people will be in headquarters, some people will be in satellites, some people in homes, that will be fine. The harder problem is people who have to be physically present to work. And that's going to be very, very difficult because you're going to have to enforce social distancing uh, for all the obvious reasons. People are going to have to wear masks and people are going to have to be careful.